So with Windows 11 25H2 now being the renew major release or Microsoft's fourth build of Windows 11, many users are now still trying to get onto 25H2 just so they are running the latest build of Windows 11 on their systems, which is the new replacement from 24H2 going up to 25H2. Now, did you know that there's actually a way that you can install 25H2 without having to completely wipe your PC? And yes, I'm talking about the users that have unsupported hardware or don't quite meet the minimum requirements to actually run Windows 11. Now, this is actually a very easy method using a package file that has been released by Microsoft which basically enables your PC to directly upgrade from 24H2 straight to 25H2 with a couple of clicks. So before we do go ahead, quick introduction, my name is Matthew from Matthew's Tech Hub. Welcome back to the video, everyone. So without further ado, let's roll that intro and jump straight into the video. Okay, so as you can see, we're now back on our Windows 11 desktop. Now, just to clarify that I am running Windows 11 24H2, you can also check your builds just by going to the start menu at the bottom, jumping into settings, then going into system on the top left hand corner and as you scroll down you'll then see about the very bottom and then once you're right in there you can then see edition which says windows 11 pro along with the version which is shown right here and as you can see i'm on 24h2 which was installed last year now just to also demonstrate that this is an unsupported hardware pc I've actually got the Windows 11 Health Check app, which you can download directly from Microsoft's website. Again, I'll pop the link down in the description down below if you want to also check your PC using this tool. And you can click on where it says Check Now right here. And as you can see, I haven't got TPM 2.0 enabled, which means this PC doesn't actually or shouldn't be running Windows 11 because it doesn't meet the minimum requirements, which is requiring TPM 2.0. Now coming out of here, as I said, this um, upgrade basically works through a update package file, which is basically the same as a, as a regular Windows update, but it's instead delivered through an update file instead, or also known as a package file. Now this is available directly from Microsoft's site. So again, I'll pop the links down in the description box down below for this file. There will be two links. So if you are running a um, ARM PC, then obviously you need to click on the ARM, or if you're running Intel or AMD processors, then again, you can use the same link that I'm going to demonstrate here. Now, if I pop this link straight into my browser here, as you can see, it is a Microsoft URL. And if I just hit enter, you will then uh, download this package file here, which is the Windows 11, and it's the KB5054156 update. Now, once that's downloaded, you can just come out of here, and if we just then just jump into our file explorer, and you can then see that I've got the Windows 11 update file here. So if I now just double click on this to run it, it's then gonna ask if you want to do a uh, Windows install software update, which yes, I do. So to click on yes right here, and now see that it's going to quickly install the update and it's now going to ask us to do a quick restart. So all you're going to do now at this stage is just click on restart now at the very bottom. Give that a moment. Now during the restart process, it may also come up saying that updates are on the way. So just allow that to process. And then again, it, it may take a bit of time so once that's done, it will then just do a full reboot. Now, as you can see, it did just do the updates. It's now just restarting. And obviously I am demonstrating this video in a virtual machine like I usually do with all my videos, just to clarify, but it is exactly the same as any normal PC. Okay, so once your PC has restarted, you'll now be able to check to confirm that the update has gone through successfully. So you can do that again, just by going down to the start menu at the bottom, jumping into settings, and then again into system, and then into about, and then you'll then see that right here, it does say Windows 11 Pro, and it says the version is 25H2. Now you're probably wondering, why is this upgrade very quick and easy? And why is it not a full-fledged system upgrade? Now, just to explain that, 24H2 and 25H2 are basically exactly the same. Obviously there's no sort of visual improvements or features that have been added into 25H2. However, 25H2 basically runs on the same core as 24H2, which is the reason why we've been able to upgrade via this enablement package. Now, for those of you that are running 23H2, so the version prior to 24H2, unfortunately, in order to do this upgrade, you will need to upgrade from 23H2 to 24H2. And then once you're running the 24H2 build, you can then proceed with following the steps in this video, or even just going through the Windows update procedure, depending on which way you want to update your PC and then you can upgrade to 25H2. So obviously if your PC isn't supported or doesn't include the hardware to actually upgrade to 25H2, then obviously you want to do it via this method. However, if the hardware is supported, then you can just do the update through 
normal Windows update by going to settings and then into Windows update and then just keep on checking for updates on your system until the 25H2 build comes through. Hopefully you guys found this video useful. If you did, please smash that like button to get this video into the YouTube algorithm. Please also hit that subscribe button to continue supporting me and the channel. And also let me know about what you thought down in the comment section down below. You can also check me out on my social media such as Instagram, TikTok and Facebook. And for now guys, until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you then. Bye for now.